A couple's mountain hike turns into a tragedy. Was a girlfriend's deadly fall an accident or something sinister? That's the focus of tomorrow night's 48 Hours. Correspondent Peter Van Zandt joins us live from New York. And Peter, thank you for joining us. How did this young woman die on that hike? She allegedly slipped off the trail, fell 150 feet to her death. She was hiking with her boyfriend and the father of their baby daughter. He ran down, he says, tried to uh, revive her, called 911, and that's how this all began. Now, he claims it was an accident. What does the evidence show? Well, the evidence is all circumstantial. There was clearly a slip up on that path. Uh, I go up to the very spot during the course of this hour, but there were no witnesses. There's no incriminating emails. There's nothing to suggest that uh, he pushed her off. There's no injury that suggests they had a struggle up there. And so it's quite a mystery. Could you tell us anything about what your investigation has found? Well, it turns out that a best-selling true crime author five years after Rhonda Castro's death contacted the prosecutor and said, I'm writing a book about this case and it seems like the family feels there's no justice. The prosecutor the next day writes that she's going to call for a grand jury and that's when they get an indictment five years after this crime. The defense attorney in this case uh, says, my guy's innocent and has no business sitting in jail. Fascinating story. It's dragged on for a long time. Can't wait to watch your report. Peter, thank you very much for joining us from New York. And don't miss 48 Hours Trail of Tears tomorrow night at 10 p.m. right here on CBS 4, followed by CBS 4 News at 11.